Okay, I've just scooped up Ben. He's getting, he's coming to the van. We are leaving any minute. The plan is, is to not go, we're going to Quartzsite tomorrow. And it was, it's about a three and a half hour trip from Sedona. And I thought, why don't we just stop at that cute little wonky hot springs place um, in Tonopa. So we're gonna go there first. And in the morning, we'll only have an hour drive. Ben doesn't even know what I'm up to. I basically, we were gonna leave tomorrow morning and I'm like, we're on. <laughs> right, Ben? Didn't there, I tell you? There's the Sag and the Chelly with the plan. <laughs> the Sag and the Chelly with the plan. There's no plan. I was like, are you ready? Can you be ready in 15? Poor Ben. All right, get yeah. in. You can organize while. Well. Cool. Yeah, you look excellent. Excellent. All right, here we go. I'm wearing my uh, Blackbird vintage attire and my boots. We're all ready to rock and roll. Fanny B is going to take us there. Yep. tell you guys I told you guys that we they gave me a present for my birthday this area is nude only so I will not be filming in case somebody's in there I spy peaches the pig let's go see he's sleeping in his bed Guess what, you guys? We are gonna take a night soak. A night naked soak. Do you think there's gonna this be This is for the there? Dara's subscription-based service. <laughs> it's late night. I used to do nighttime with Dara on YouTube, and this is like late night. Um, you gotta pay $15 a month for this. <laughs> so if we can, we will film in there, and you guys can have the experience with us. Um, they were so welcoming to us, Rita, when we came in. They were like so nice. And then David came to show us where we could get water. Look how cozy we just made the beds. Look. Doesn't this feel dreamy? Doesn't it? It's dreamy. And then I'll just shut the. Watch this. I can't wait to see what. Lucid dreams await us tonight after a magnesium hot bath. I hope I sleep. I toss and turn a lot. I don't know what to say. My bed shimmies away from the wall. My bed shimmies away from the wall. I drop comforters, but it's going to be fine. I'm we'll gonna... stop and get Velcro tomorrow. Yeah, we'll fix it. But you see how cozy it gets when everything's like... Why isn't this? Ah, there. And then I shut this one. I'm going to make us a tonic. Nighttime tonic. The key is, is knowing where your stuff is. That's the key, is that you have to know where everything is and you have to put it back in the same place or else things can get crazy. And the other piece of advice I heard from another YouTuber was to just go slow. When you go fast, you can bump your head. That's what they call the pizza oven up here. And people could just clock themselves here. <laughs> they go too fast. So just do everything slow. Check before you take off that all the drawers are shut and everything's, you know, good. So we're plugged in. We're ready to go. You can read. I have a book for you. Entangled Life. And I brought the book that you started reading, Ben. Ooh. This is good, right? This is so cool. Okay, so we have books. All right. Time to read a Zeus tonight. Yes. Cool.
good morning you guys i um tossed and turned and it was just yeah it was it was a rough night of just not sleeping but that's okay we slept till like 10 30 and ben is out soaking and is giving me time and i'm making us matcha and then we're gonna clean up the dishes and um i'll do a little soak and then we're gonna go to quartzite so I figured out part of the problem is I was sleeping with the biomat on the bed and it gets hot and then it gets, it's just not. And then I also figured they put on when they delivered, when I got the truck, the van, there's, um, it scoots away from the wall and I realized why, that there's a cutout here that needs to, this mattress needs to be flipped. It's for over here. So no big deal. We'll fix it. And when you're tired enough, you sleep. I'm not really worried. And um, it's going to be a fun day. So what am I doing for breakfast? Well, first of all, I just did... Ooh, look at my nails. I just did... They go with everything. They <laughs> go with my green food. Um, I just did about an hour soak um, with my matcha in hand. And now I'm having a smoothie I made yesterday. And it's got Purium. And I have a whole bucket of Purium, which is like healthy powders. Like way to get your fruits in, your greens in um that sort of thing so i'm going to make us some purium drinks for the road make sure we're hydrated we're going to stop and get water we're going to stop and get flip-flops or something plastic because um ben just has his sneakers and the, it's muddy it's muddy out and rainy and it's easier to just take on and off like crocs or something rubber so we're going to go to the truck stop um, he thinks we're going to Buckeye, but that's a half hour in the wrong direction. So we are going to hopefully find something very close. Just for us. This is where we are. This is where I took Ben. This is what Ben woke up to. <laughs> and now Ben's getting flies. Because there's a bunch of flies in here now. This is an orange. Have fun and good luck. I already told the flies they can leave if they want to before Ben gets them. Well, too late. Too late. It looks so good. It does look good. Everywhere you go. How about that lady I met at the truck stop? She had green lips. Okay. We're on the road. We are going to rubber rendezvous. snack we stopped at a gas station this is sunflower cream cheese a pate that I got at interdependence and it's so nice to travel with lettuce already washed and dried I think I'm gonna title this no excuses oops <laughs> um, no excuses to keep yourself healthy and happy while on the road so I think Ben needs caffeine. I made a matcha, but I think I will make a hot tonic. Um, I'm about to get even more organized when I go home. I'm going to organize my toiletries better and bring more tonic herbs. But I do have some great things. And maybe I'll find a tea. Oh, cordyceps will definitely give energy. For Sigmatic, you can get a Dara, a Dara discount. Just use the word Dara, you got 15% off. And I never travel, never travel without my Four Sigmatic. 
So let's see what I make. So good. So yummy. Okay, this is for Ben. Whoa. <laughs> you have sunflower seed pate with the sunflower cream cheese, Brazil nuts, um, cheese, that's raw goat cheese, wow. walnuts, and that's living chocolate heart for dessert. Isn't that oh a cute little gosh. snack? You already had your meal, but that I thought this would- nutrient fix will be sufficient. Yes. I just thought it was a cute little plate. I love it. Of happiness. Thank you so much. Okay, since I don't have coffee, and since Ben likes a little caffeine for his generator self, um, I already made matcha, but that isn't enough. So now I'm up to making a tonic for both of us that will have a lift because I'm using a, right here, I am boiling water for a chai tea. So that gives the caffeine. We're going to use cordyceps, which is, which gives you energy for Sigmatic. You can get a 15% discount on any of Four Sigmatic products if you use my name, Dara. So I'm doing a trio. We're having cordyceps, which gives you energy. Lion's mane for the brain, because we're going to have to figure out where to be and what to do. We have no idea where we're camping. And we have chaga, which is great. It's known as the great defender. It's the great immune supporter, chaga mushroom. And then... I love this company too. Actually, Addictive Wellness made me an affiliate, and you can get a discount if you use my name with them too. And this one's going to give us the cacao, and it has all kinds of goodies in this one. So we have enough flavor. Then we need creaminess, so I'm going to use a little almond butter. And I'm going to use monk fruit as our sweetener because it's handy, and I'm going to blend them all in my Nutribullet, and we'll have a tonic. Oh, and I can also add. Da -da -da. Oh, you ready? creamy golden milk. Ooh. Turmeric and cinnamon and maple syrup. It's going to be sweet and delicious. It's real chai um, coming up. Yeah, there's a real ch real chai, right. Right. It's got the turmeric, the cinnamon, the ginger. Good point. So I'll add this and heat it up. Actually, I'm going to blend. What I'm going to do, this is smarter because you never want to add hot water to this and blend because it could just kind of explode. So I always blend room temperature or cold and I'll blend the herbs and then the butter with this and then I'll add it to the hot chai. So I hope you love it. I know you're thinking so clever. I saw Ben smile and say, oh, that's good. We also like to keep hot liquids away from plastic. We do like to keep, very good point. Cool. So um, I think that's it. And then I guess you could film this and then fast forward. Really? I love that. Okay, so we'll put the seven years old. Herbs. In goes the chaga. Ooh, I opened them with a scissor so they're pouring out. Cordyceps, oh, you're doing fast forward? Doesn't have to. Cordyceps used to originally, they in nature, it's the mushroom that grew on a caterpillar's head. Really. But now they grow them other ways. Okay, so we have blending. The Chinese track team made them famous in the 80s. The cordyceps? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really... I mean, cordyceps, chia seeds, there's certain things that just give you energy. Um, certain things that help you to not have gray hair. I have no gray hair. Do you know what chia means? Chia, no. Energy. Ah, chi, yeah. Yeah. Chia, it's energy. Chi, it's life force. And so... Um, but funnily enough, it's Brazilian, Mayan kind chia of... Chia is. Yeah, the Mayans used to have some in their pocket, and just that's all they had with water, and could go for days on chia mm. seeds. I love it. Did I add the monk fruit? I didn't. I think it's warm in here. But. It is. I think I shut the heat for the back of here, but I think it just stayed contained. A little bit of monk fruit. Blend again. 
Actually, the monk food will d dissolve. You ready? We look in there. It's very pretty. <laughs> this is going to make a delicious tonic. And we don't really have to rinse this out because this is all goodies. So if I want to make a smoothie, I can still, obviously at nighttime we'll rinse this out, but we can reuse it. We stick everything in the sink so it doesn't roll around while we're driving. And this is so exciting. I don't think this is good for the outsider you're like one of the people because there's like an element that they're busting through of the shame of living in your vehicle because it gives you liberation it gives you freedom and everybody can be like everybody else here the outsider you're like one of the people because there's like an element that they're busting through of the shame of living in your bank vehicle because it gives you liberation it gives you freedom and everybody can be like everybody else here Did you see this, this so need to do is find out where's the tent so there's supposed to be like a tent I'm sure there's something going on. <laughs> That's it. It's the big office. Okay, so we were driving around wondering where's the location, where's the tent, where's the people. And it's at the baseball field and now we're getting up with some How long have you been band lifing? Well, I've been band lifing two years. Mm -hmm. That's my band right there. That's why I can the first white. The far, far white? Said he's a sparkly person. Beautiful. You definitely should call yourself Doobie. Yeah.
I think I need to have a booth here and have a painting booth. Uh, That's know? true. Don't you think? Yeah. but they're not necessarily right here. I don't know where they are. Maybe they're in the vans resting after a whole weekend of like talking to people, but this must be the lull. We're here on a Monday, it's been going on all weekend, and it's going to Fridays, so up to Monday's like, Monday, 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 everybody's like internal and in their vans. I don't know what to say. We're gonna decide what to do next. We're gonna ask the pendulum. Yeah, that's a good idea, let's sit down. I have it in my pocket. Okay, it just so happens that I travel with Pendulum, and we are deciding if we're going to sleep somewhere in the desert, or travel to Joshua Tree, or head back towards home. So should we travel on to Joshua Tree? For me, a circle is a yes. The wind may be influencing. <laughs> That's a no. Give me another place. Tucson, Mount Lemon. Tucson, Mount Lemon. It wants to say yes, I can tell, but the wind is throwing it, so we're going to have to go somewhere else to do the pendulum. Let's go inside a porta potty. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Let's just go on the side of someone's van. Let's go Okay. Nestle up next to somebody's something. Well there's a building right there. Yeah. Let's walk over there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Left onto East Center Street. Arizona stuff. It's like a shipping container. Quail Cafe. Do you need any, do you need coffee? That fascinates me. You know what I mean? Like what they're up to. Do you need me to drive in there? Yeah, if you want the RV footage, oh, let's do. roll in there. Oh, yes, Head north on North Moon Mountain Avenue, then turn left. Turn left toward North Tyson Street, then turn left onto North Tyson Street. I just want to see how people set up, you know? Go into tails. I want to see the details there. Proceed to the route. Head west, then turn left. Turn left toward Tyson the right. Street, then turn left onto Tyson Street. <laughs> this, this fascinates me. It's like, why live in a trailer home when you can live in an RV park? Yeah, it's just it's an inexpensive way to Head live west, and... then turn left. Turn left toward Tyson Street, then turn left onto Tyson Street. Turn left onto Tyson Street. Chevy Tracker. Oh, it's a Suzuki style. Head west, then turn People left. People love that style of car. Turn left toward Tyson Street, then turn right. The people visiting. There you go, they're hooked up for a month or two probably, you know what I mean? I turn left onto North Tyson Street, then turn left onto Tyson Street. Turn left onto Tyson Street. It's the... Twos and... Um, Park. In half a mile. Trailer also. Right onto Desert Avenue, West Desert Vista Street. We're going to a new destination. 
This will be night two of uh, boondocking in nature. We left Quartzsite, we're headed back up north and we're gonna be at a beautiful mountain range. So night two boondocking, hopefully I'll sleep. We are filling up Vanny V and I just wanna tell you guys, she is huge. Like this is a huge 21 foot vehicle this Winnebago Travado 59 KL and I'm driving her like it's nothing like I really enjoy driving a vehicle this size I have zero anxiety which I'm happy to say and I maneuver quite well there's Ben Ben hi walk up to it Close the door. It's 21 feet of fabulousness. Vanny V and I are great friends. Okay, you guys. I didn't know what it looked like when we when we drove in because it was very, very dark. This is what it looks like. It's starting to get light out. And um, I woke up in the middle of the morning, in the middle of the night, because had a funny feeling it was raining and raining and raining and we could hit some flood rivers on the way back and then and then also I was like hello Ben <laughs> poor Ben I woke Ben up like two or three times because I was like the battery the battery and I was right because the heat ran the battery down to 20 percent so now we're we're off grid offline it's peaceful doing <laughs> look where he brought me in the rain at night waking up to this it's magic I'm a little tired is it b-roll it was just shooting oh. it may be b-roll it may end up as a-roll <laughs> Right now I feel like it's an F. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so wobbly on my feet, you know, when you're tired like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's okay. So I want to sum up the trip so far. So it went like this. I wanted to go to Quartzite because there was this rubber trap. You're looking at me funny. Why? What? I'm not looking at you oh. funny. 
Okay, let me start over. Okay. So I wanted to take this trip, the third trip with Vanny B, the first trip with Ben, and uh, how can you not go to the rubber tramp rendezvous where there's a million RVs in the RV capital of our country, Quartzsite, Arizona. And so we're like, how can we not go? It's three hours away. Here comes the car. Yeah, one second. How could you not go? Yes? Yeah. Go? Okay, so what happened was, I told Ben, let's leave the next morning. We had rain, it wasn't good weather, and all of a sudden, I'm packing up Vanny B, and I was like, Ben, can you be ready in 15 minutes? And he was like, sure. And about an hour later, we hit the road, and we, I was like, we're gonna stop at the hot springs. And then tomorrow, we'll only be an hour away from Quartzsite. And we're gonna see all the people, it's gonna be so much fun, and we got there. Last night at 3 o'clock in the morning, I realized why there was no one there. On the schedule, they have people from 9 a.m. till like 2. And then after 2, everybody goes back to their RVs. So we got there and there was no one in the field. I think had we stayed, we would have met people the next day. But that's fine. I said, all right, let's go home. And Ben said, dot, 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 after the car goes by. It's okay, I don't mind. Don't you you wanted to go to J Tree. Yeah. Let's just I wait will. till they pass. That was a big reason we went here. I know, I know that. I was going to say it. Okay. I need to tell a story. <laughs> Don't worry. They're going to give us copyright with their music. I'm just kidding. So, so, so it goes like this. On the way, we both felt kind of defeated. Like, we're only away one night. We're going to, like, head home to Sedona. I was like, do you think jo Joshua Tree? He's like, I'm down. And I was like, I don't know. I'm not feeling driving that way. And then all of a sudden, we're driving. He's driving. And he's like, I know where to go. The name of it is Superstitious. Superstitions. Superstition. Mountain. Yeah, range. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. And we drove a couple hours in the dark, in the rain, a little rivers across the roads. We're driving up, we're driving up. He's like, I want to wake up close to the mountain. I could kind of see silhouettes in the night sky, but um, after a very rough night's sleep on my part, um, I woke up realizing that our battery was low. Like, I got a hit. The battery was at 20%. It can't go below 20%. I woke up and then I never went back to sleep. Ben did. And here we are. <laughs> here we are in this beautiful, gorgeous landscape. And it's spectacular. I can think of no better place to be. So, the beginning of the trip was spontaneous, right? And we, we were like light on our feet. We were laying on our feet and we were like, it's okay if we change direction and it's okay if we don't go home. And here we are. So you never know what's going to happen when you stay open. Stay open. Stay and open like the Superstition Mountain Range. Yes. That's good. Okay, so do you guys remember when Scott at La Mesa RV was giving me the orientation and he said, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And the last time I saw him, he said, go get her dirty. Guess what? I got her dirty. So excited. We did good. Ooh. Yeah. Now I'm seeing, now I'm seeing Ben where you took me late at night and it was like rainy and wet and Dirt road, dirt road. And it's, look where we are. I'm very, very tired. I'm very happy. This is gonna make some people jelly.
This is what woke me up at three o'clock in the morning because it was raining all night. And on the way here, we had to go over this river in the dark. And I was like, oh my God, we're gonna be flooded and stuck up here. Then, then, and then I never went back to sleep. This is what caused, <laughs> but it's fine. Ben said it would be fine. Look how, look how pretty that way. Climb this whole thing. Do you want to take a picture of the sign? Or we don't need to. You'll just put Peralta Regional Park. It doesn't sound very romantic. We don't have to tell them where it is. Layers of gorgeousness. 